My wife's grandmother is turning 90 in a few weeks, and she tithes. Let that sink in for a minute. Octogenarian widow on a fixed income, and she tithes 10% of her Social Security and pension. She lives on less than $11,000 a year, and still, every week, she puts a $20 bill in that collection plate. Now, I, I want to give you a visual here, because you don't know Granny. So, uh, picture the end of a Sunday sermon at a small southern church. This bent old woman sitting near the front grabs her purse and her walker, and she hobbles to the front of the church. It takes her a minute to open her purse around the involuntary trembling in her hands, but she put that $20 bill right on top, make it easy to reach. So she plucks it out with her arthritic fingers, and she can't quite put it in the plate because the omnipresent tremors, but that's okay. Because her pastor is happy to just pluck that money right out of her enfeebled hand with as sincere a God bless you as he can muster. Now, the pastor here, by the way, healthy guy, about 50 years old, well-fed, but he looks like he could wrestle a horse if he absolutely had to. And he's taking money from a woman who is too old to put in her own hearing aid anymore. Money that she's only given him, by the way, because she thinks it'll get her into heaven. Because he and a lifetime worth of miserable fucks just like him have conned her into believing that giving them her money will keep her out of hell. And as it turns out, I've actually talked about this same pastor on the show before. He, he was the asshole at the funeral that reminded everybody to stop by his church and join his religion afterwards just in case they died on the drive home and gave the fucking address. Yeah, I've met him a couple of times. I call him Tom, so he hates me and... He steals money from old ladies for a living, so I hate him back. Now, I want to concede, he's one of the bad ones, right? I mean, there are good preachers and pastors. I mean, you know, good compared to this loathsome prick. But this guy is everything you hate about religion. He's a hellfire homophobe. He's a pulpit-pounding bully. He's the asshole who said, upon learning that I was an atheist, well, I'm sure you'll come back to God when you have children for their sake. And by this guy's own admission, the only place that church's money goes that isn't his pocket is an annual contribution to the Southern Baptist Convention. You know, the hate group. And in case you're wondering, no, he's never come by to check on Granny, see how she's doing, never once offered to drive her to a doctor's appointment or pick up her groceries for her or anything, never once made the most feeble effort to tend to the most enfeebled sheep in his flock. You know, so maybe there are good religious leaders in the sense that there are good people who are religious leaders, but even the most devout theist and apologist knows full well that there are also religious leaders like this guy, people who simply look at God and see a paycheck. And again, even people who reject the premise that the overall bad of religion outweighs the overall good, a.k.a. the basic precept of this show, have to admit that there are plenty of priests and pastors and mullahs and imams just like this guy. There are plenty of leaders in every religious tradition that look at Granny and her 20 bucks a week and think to themselves, Lady, that's nothing compared to what I'm going to get from your funeral. You know, and I offer this visual image because I want you to know what I'm thinking about when people say I should have respect for religious beliefs. I think of a healthy middle-aged man snatching a $20 bill out of the frightened 89-year-old woman's quivering hand. I think of my sister-in-law finding out that she was cutting her pills in half with a spoon to ration them to the end of the month because she couldn't afford her fucking prescriptions. I think about the look on that asshole's face when I pointed out to him that he was taking money from a crippled, mentally unsound woman that did not have money to give. That dismissive, heartless look that truly saw nothing wrong with conning the elderly for a living. That superior look that somehow said, fuck your granny-in-law with a shepherd's crook, you godless heathen, and guess who's sub subsidizing my property taxes all at the same time. Now, I know that nobody's asking me to respect that guy, right? I'm allowed to disrespect him without earning the ire of the unholier-than-thou atheists that remind everybody to be polite by calling them dicks. All they want me to do is respect the beliefs that enable it and allow it to continue with no accountability. They want me to offer it the same deference that allowed this singular con to earn a legal stamp of approval while simultaneously drilling the fears and indoctrination so deep into their marks that it is absolutely impossible to protect Granny from this at this point. You know the deference I'm talking about, right? The same deference that we've been given religion since the Enlightenment? That strategy that's been doing such a bang-up job for the last couple of centuries? Look, if somebody else was taking money from a 90-year-old crippled woman by lying to them in any other fucking way, we'd put that person in jail, even if they said they sincerely believed the lie. And nobody would be standing in Bernie Madoff's corner asking that we not judge all of Ponzi schemes based on this one bad apple. It's a fucking con. It's a lie that steals from the weak and gives to the hate groups. And if you defer respect to the con, and I don't, that doesn't make me a dick. It makes you an accomplice.